If you shop at the popular beauty retailer Sephora, you're out of luck on Wednesday. The company is set to close all of their U.S. stores, corporate offices, and distribution centers so their employees can go through diversity training. This comes after Grammy Award-winning singer SZA says she was racially profiled at a Calabasas, California store in April. Reps from Sephora say the training is not a, quote, response to any one event, adding that inclusivity workshops were planned for its employees months in advance. Sephora's closure comes one year after Starbucks closed its doors for anti-bias training after an incident at a Philadelphia store involving two black men who were sitting at a table without placing an order. All right, let's bring back tonight's A-plus panel, Allison Young, Republican strategist, and Garland Nixon, radio talk show host. Allison, I'll start with you on this. Uh, you know, the whole SZA incident, we don't really know details. We know what she right. said on Twitter, and the company apologized. You know, she said on Twitter that they profiled her because they thought she was gonna shoplift. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I think for, for me to hear this, maybe she was profiled, I don't know. I'm not surprised, however, that Sephora has taken a dramatic action. It seems it's going to be good for business in this PC world. What do you think? I think you're probably right. It's probably good for business. They're getting a ton of press out of this right. about kind of proactively and preemptively doing something. But I will tell you, if I, I've got you guys covered on Sephora, okay? I'm sure you're not in there as often as I am. When you walk into a Sephora often. store, yeah. people greet you right away and they follow you around the store. I don't know that anyone was racially profiled. I know that they probably age profile people and they follow teenagers around the store. It's a huge, I mean, cosmetics are small. There's a lot of shoplifting. I think they profile everyone that walks in the door. Well, Garland, to that point, a former law enforcement guy um, uh, shoplifting is huge and you know maybe the, maybe the opposite happened here with SZA maybe she wasn't being profiled and somebody maybe recognized her and said we got to treat everybody the same <laughs> Well, I think uh, it's possible. Yeah, I think what's important here is that the shoplifting is an issue, but they ensured that they have some, and I use this word guardedly, probable cause, some reason to follow a person. But I think what we're seeing here is the power of social media. These yeah. uh, corporations now know that if you get a bad rap on social media in, in two hours, they can destroy a company. Isn't it time to just ban all of this diversity training and anti-bias training? It does absolutely nothing. And everybody's thinking about how long till I can get out of here and you learn nothing. And it's the same with the, the with the sexual harassment training, right? We all Silly. we all check the boxes. You right. all we right. know what's right and wrong. Well, the thing here is a lot of this is about legal liability. A lot of times right. companies want to document that they have done that this so that if one of their employees do it in the future, they can say the employee did it, but they were trained not to. Last quick point: Is this potentially uh, you know the old uh, parable, the the boy who cried wolf? That, that enough of social media. Everybody's a victim. Everything is a yeah. bias crime. Everybody's under attack. At some point, aren't we just going to tune it all out? I hope so. I really hope so. We can't approach every day thinking about how am I going to be offended the next door I walk in. And doesn't that hurt real victims if I you don't do think, tune it out? I don't think so because I think this is an issue that has been around for a lot of years in the black community. And there are a lot of people in the black community that want to see this issue brought to the surface. Okay. Thanks, guys.